So what is exactly cluster? And uh, when you talk about a computer, huge compute, right? So cluster, cluster can have a nodes. Node is uh, each node is one VM. In this scenario, cluster is a huge compute. Cluster is a huge compute. Consider you are having a laptop. That laptop we will call it as single node cluster. A laptop or a desktop, we will call it a single node cluster. So that single node will have some some GB RAM, maybe four GB RAM, and some two CPUs, maybe five hundred GB disk, five hundred GB disk. It's like a your single system. We can treat as a single home, or you can say individual house. Single home or individual house. When it comes to apartment, apartment can have a number of houses. So each each flat we will treat as a node here. Let me show you with a, some example. So most of the people will have a beginners really will have some confusion on individual house. Let me show you one image. Let's talk about this. So this is a single node cluster. In individual house, you can treat as a single node cluster, or you can see your laptop or a desktop, laptop or desktop, one BHK or two BHK, whatever depends on capacity. If you talk about apartment, we talk about apartments. Consider you look at you can, if you look at this. One apartment is nothing but one big cluster, one cluster. So one cluster is nothing but one apartment. You can treat as simple way. And this apartment can have a number of uh, flats. Flats is nothing but maybe two BHK, one BHK, three BHK like this. So that each flat you can treat as a node. Each flat you can treat as a node. A cluster is like apartment. Cluster can have a nodes. So apartment can have a flats. Apartment have a flats. Flats means maybe two BHK, one BHK, three BHK. Depends on capacity. Okay. So similarly, when you talk about here, cluster, cluster is nothing but a huge compute. That huge compute can have an n number of nodes. Node one, node two, node three, node four, node five, which having some this everything is a vm virtual machine vm virtual machine it's a vm on a physical compute it will create a number of vms it will use the same configuration nothing but it's like apartment we are building on the same physical location so virtually virtually so here also your nodes are vm virtual machines but whatever each node is having the capacity, right? That cluster capacity only, cluster capacity, physical server capacity. We can go with the n number of nodes. And when you talk about master and slave architecture, it may be MPP, it may be Spark, it may be Hadoop MapReduce, Hadoop, MR, it may be Spark. You can choose anything, master and slave architecture. One master node will be there, multiple worker nodes or slave nodes will be there. Whenever you submit any code or job or request, first the request will go and submit on master node, then master node distribute the work. It may be MPB architecture like a Snowflake, Synapse, Redshift, Teradata. So there are many MPP data warehouses are available, or Hadoop MapReduce, or Spark. Concept is same. Request will be submitted in one place that master node or header node or name node. You can call it as any name. And data processed in different nodes. Those we will call it as a slave node, worker node or process node, worker node, slave node, data node or process node where data is going to process. So this is about master and slave architecture, master and slave architecture.